Greetings, gamers. Dude, I hate Curse of Darkness. Oh, hold on. Yo, what up, gamers? Sorry, it was dark as hell just a second ago. We unlocked Tarnished Maggie, and I wanted to finally try them. I actually have no idea how they play. Usually, I do a little bit of research, but I really like the way that the Epiphany characters are designed. They're pretty intuitive, so I'm sure I could just figure out what's going on. Looks like we have a bar on the top left, plus zero, also negative zero out of 12. I don't really know what's going on. We got a Cardiac Arrest, a Pocket an active item and the only thing I know about this character is that you press Q and then you aim and then you shoot and oh my god <laughs> a ton of different things seem to have happened I've gained a bunch of stats but they're draining quickly my bar is draining I have four out of 12 hearts but also negative two just kidding it's negative one I'm unsure of this scenario let's just try and learn I guess so it seems every single time I shoot cardiac arrest I just spawn a bajillion different temporary hearts that I can then pick up prayer card seems like a very appropriate item for this type of run very happy we'll take this with us I don't know if this will delete my uh, eternal heart I know cardiac arrest takes hearts to do oh no it's surviving so maybe we can save our eternal heart let's just try and farm as many hearts as possible this seems really broken <laughs> I don't really see a way I could die with this character at all. What happens when I hit like 12 of 12? Uh, I'm almost there. I'm gonna figure it out soon. I did lose the Eternal Heart. At that point, I think it's probably best for me to just uh, use the- Wow, you look creepy as hell. Use the prayer card at the very end of the floor so I don't lose out on whatever it's supposed to be, you know? There we go. What happened? It, it's, oh, 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 I got HP up. Oh, okay. I already see the vision for the character. So what happens is when you max out that cap, you get an HP up. I still don't know what this draining thing is doing though. It says negative two, now negative one. I think I'm losing HP. So this is supposed to be a fast character, I think. Uh, let's let this go down. Yeah, I lost half a heart. Okay, I see. So it drains quicker and quicker the higher the bar is. But if you can play fast enough and get the max cap, then you're rewarded with an HP up. And I guess on hit, we also just get stats, which is the reason I'm getting getting stats when I use cardiac arrest because it hurts you to use boom a, a character solved video games achieved let's apply this to the next floor with a pentagram uh to boot I know cardiac arrest is based off your base damage so damage up is very important very very nice oh we have a sack room what I wouldn't do to use that sack room but I was still learning the character so I couldn't abuse it at the time next sack rooms that we find I might be able to abuse uh this character seems very fast paced let's go the tarnished characters are always kind of like mega designs of the regular characters and the tainted so this is like very much an evolution of tainted maggie tainted maggie being someone you just go crazy with you walk into enemies you know and you want to play fast but this is like even faster faster you are literally rewarded for playing as fast as possible and get hp ups for it so i, I see the vision here and I, I, i'm into it maggie's been through a lot of stuff from her base incarnation in Flash, everyone just disliked her in comparison to the other characters. And they tried to buff her for a while. They gave her like a, a, a speed up pill, I think, and they turned that into a full health pill. Little Chad is incredible for this. And now base Maggie is at a decent area, I would say. But when Tainted Maggie came out, I was like, dude, finally. They made Maggie completely different, an aggro character. And this just seems to be an extension of that, really pushing it to its limit. I'm a fan. So I wonder what synergies might exist with Cardiac Arrest, because I am noticing while it does charge fast, it is kind of hard to hit a new maximum. I'm seeing that the more charge we have, right now it's at 8 to like 7 of 17, the faster it drains, so it's harder and harder to get a new HP up every single time. Is it at this point that we just start taking self-damage to gain stats now that we have more HP? Maybe that's kind of what we do, you know what I mean? Like we just, we get so much HP that it doesn't even matter, and now we just start running into enemies because we're gonna get stats anyway. We're gonna heal anyway, you know what I mean? And we have just even more HP. <laughs> Catacombs. I'm willing to go in here. Uh, I'm curious as to how the hearts work in terms of deal chance. Because we know that Tainted Maggie has two different types of hearts. Like a fake heart and a regular heart. I'm about to die. We're, we're, we're about to find out if this can kill you. Oh my god. Oh, it can't. <laughs> I'm saved! Can you use Cardiac Arrest while well, 1 HP? You know what? For testing purposes, I, I'll do it. Oh, you can live. Oh, it's okay. We're fine. No biggie. Never mind. We're, we're, we're okay. Understood. Okay, so the character flows well. Even when you're low HP, you still have a chance to live. I've gone and lost my HP, actually. 
I'm not talking like my actual HP. I mean, I'm talking like my heart containers. <laughs> Where did they go? You know what I bet happened? I bet it's like if you have zero HP and you fully drain, you start losing containers. Is that the case? Oh my god. Oh my god, that's exactly what's happening to me. Oh my god. I need a heal. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, no more of that. I am actually draining all of my HP. So yeah. I have I have nothing left, actually. I'm down to one. I'm two! Okay, let's replay that. Now that I know how the character works, basically, you can never miss cardiac arrest unless you are trying to die. Don't do that whatsoever. So this character really is just play fast, skeet fast, too fast, too quick. If you lollygag around, you would literally lose heart containers and then it becomes impossible to play. On the other hand, when you get less HP, like your containers go low, the threshold needed to gain HP goes down. So at the very end of that big room, I started having to only need to collect 8 half hearts in order to get a heart container back. So it, it does balance out. So I don't think it's very possible to, you know, get maximum HP unless you're unbelievably cracked at the Binding of Isaac. So what's in this boss? We got Pestilence. I like the idea of a Pestilence. And Orbital's always nice. Now we did lose deal chance by taking actual damage there so i'm assuming that cardiac arrest just does not remove deal chance because it's counting as like self-sacrifice curse room damage but if you just take red heart damage it, you're gonna lose deal chance that, that's probably what's going on here i don't expect to get a lot of deals today and that's all right we've been dealing it up maybe i want to go on my own road and make my own choices not go to anyone for any form of help i can find it on my own actually I mean, have you seen what the entire thematic of the Binding of Isaac is? <laughs> okay, Red Heart dropped. Uh, half a heart dropped and Ball of Bandages. Okay. I am going to lose hearts if I don't take these. Oh my god, it's draining so fast. What the hell can I do about this? I might just need to accept fate and realize that, yeah, I'm gonna lose HP, dude. It's gonna go down. I just need to combat it as much as I can, but I have to be accepting of it. There's, there's no counterplay. My speed is diminished, uh, so I, I don't really see a way I can get Get rid of this. That's fine though, since we only have 2 HP, uh, soon to be 1 HP, we're gonna have a very low cap needed to gain more HP. Oh my god, I might die again. <laughs> Wait a second. <sighs> oh no, bros. <laughs> The bar is draining a lot slower now. But I, I need to go. Please have a lot of enemies. Okay, cool. Heal me up. Heal me up. Heal me up. Okay, we're good. I need to get way, way more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, status effects are applied twice as long. I feel like that would be good on this character. I don't know why my instinct tells me that's the case. I'm probably incorrect. I did want to check just then if you can use cardiac arrest on invincible enemies. I do not think so. Is it hard as hell to like fully explores this character or is that just me <laughs> i i just gotta heal up as much as i can this is becoming like less of a, a challenge for the run like i don't care what items i get because she's just so powerful in general it's like i'm my biggest enemy as this character uh, it's something i've never seen before for an archetype I literally explode and die if I do not play well enough. I feel like it wasn't even worth it to go to the, the treasure room. Like, to backtrack all that way, I lost all my hearts. It's scary. But these enemies stand no chance against cardiac arrest because of the, the scaling damage. It's more like I'm going to die. <laughs> Alright, well... Now that we understand how it's working, maybe we can apply and improve. Is it on a hit that we get the, the like the negative? That is what's going on. Okay, so that's why it's so hard. You cannot miss cardiac arrest, like at all. If you miss, you take the, the damage that's going to apply later on, but you don't get the heal, obviously, because you didn't get hearts. So it's always a gamble. You want to always hit your shots and have the HP necessary to make up for the fact that you're taking the damage. And I do think they want you to use cardiac arrest. They just want to make it so you don't miss. <laughs> Like, that's the punishment. Because of the fact that you get stats on hit and cardiac arrest hits you, they really want to encourage you to just spam this thing. Just don't miss. Don't skill issue. Treasure! Fruity Plum. Shout out to Fruity Plum guy. I have not seen that guy in a while. I hope they're doing okay. We got tagged by a couple of bulbs there, so I'm not going to be able to use our prayer card for the Eternal Heart. Slightly unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's not the biggest deal. I love the idea of a 9 volt. I don't know if this is going to actually affect me, but I have to test. I mean... It would be sinful for me otherwise. Also, this will charge my eternal uh, all the way back up, considering I did just lose it, so it's the correct play. Sacrum sounded good maybe like a second ago, when I had less knowledge of how the character worked. I, we could try. Oh, right, this is self-sacrifice damage, so I'm not gonna take drain damage by doing this. No, this is a good decision, actually. You could just TP me and be very nice. Oh, so worth! Uh, honestly, for the scapular, this type of character? Yeah, I'll take that, thank you. 
Then let's touch you, then use it one more time. Boom. Oh! I like Book of Revs more than the prayer card. It's also gonna give us deal chance, naturally. Scapular proc, so I feel better. Then we can use Book of Revs. Then we can take this. Oh yeah, okay. Now the character's making sense. I get it. And it's kind of why I wanted to do blind react moment, you know? Because going in while knowing what the character's doing is of course fun in its own right, but every now and then I think it's also kind of fun to just kind of figure it out on your own, you know what I mean? So we have not seen this just yet, but now we do get a witness of it. Looks like when we do drain, our soul hearts will be drained as well, so those are not in the clear. We would have spawned the deal anyways, but whatever. The sac room was the correct play. I like the dad's last coin. I like the luck up. I like to go down. Okay, so I've just gone and missed two shots, so now I'm going to crap myself. Luckily, I just spawned hearts from little Chad, so it's, it's working out for me. But now that I know the risk reward for like missing out, I'm terrified every single time I don't get a hit. I need to activate mega aim. Time to hit up aim labs. These flicks are going to be insane. <laughs> Speaking of flicks, uh, I saw a very talented modder named Headcrab. I believe I've played some of their mods before, or if not, I used some of them. They were making an ultra kill mod for Isaac, and it's very fleshed out, mega high quality. And I've been following the progression of the mod for a very long time. It looks to be nearly done. I saw a clip of it on Twitter. So keep an eye out for that, because I'm super excited to try that out. How do I have negative 19? <laughs> Maybe I should chill out? Nah, let's just keep doing it. <laughs> As long as I'm picking up two hearts every single time I use Cardiac Arrest, I'm breaking even, so it's worth it, you know what I mean? Because I'm understanding now that the, the hearts that you have in excess that you can get to give yourself an extra HP up are removed from the negative. And then when you don't have any excess hearts, then it starts taking from your actual body. So the goal per every single Cardiac Arrest is at least take two. If you can get two, you're in a successful state. If you can't, then you're gonna start draining and dying. Honestly, I didn't know how to feel about the character starting off, and that's not a diss, I just literally didn't know how to feel about the character. I have never seen gameplay of this one. But now that it's fleshed out and I understand what like what the UI is trying to tell me, and like the gameplay loop, I am in, dude. This is sick to play. Especially when we get yellow spider sacks like this, boom, look at all the hearts, man. How can you not be in love with a character like this? Treasure! Conehead is a perfect item for us. Reduces damage occasionally. I like to imagine Personally, this is a Northern Line reference. Obviously, it's a Conehead reference. But the Binding of Isaac lover in me is just like, nah, that's an NL reference. <laughs> Hello? Charged? Uh, pills? We have not seen a lot of pills, so I'm just gonna take the starter deck, and then, is it a good? Oh, it's, it's incredible! Oh my god! Hey, nice! A pleasant item, thank you. That's, that was the one. That was the one, like, people dream of. When you go to bed at night and you dream of, like, the ultimate Tarnished Maggie health pickup situation, that was it. I just experienced it and so did you. You're welcome. <laughs> I also like the fact that I don't really have to care about getting hit too much, you know what I mean? It really is just like a, like, skeet fast, game fast playstyle. You take damage, ah, whatever. Every single heart on earth exists when you're playing this character. I did explore a majority of the floor and this is looking like a rare double trouble. I'm down the clown, what's in here? It's Wow, I've never seen this layout. What the hell? A little horn Loki? I guess they are both uh, sort of mischievous fellows. I just never really imagined these two together. I'm hitting a lot of cardiac so far. Trying to gain as many hearts as possible. Is there like a hard cap on how fast it like drains eventually? I think that might be the case. Yeah, I think so, because look how fast I got that. I was very consistent with how much HP I was gaining there. I was hitting all of my shots, I was not missing, and I was gaining a lot of hearts. And I did see that, you know, the more hearts you have, the faster it drains. But at a certain point, it felt like it stopped, you know? It didn't drain any faster, and I was able to keep up the pace. So uh, I retract my statement from earlier. I definitely think you can get maximum hearts with this guy. Sorry, uh, girl, you know what I mean. Gaming, what's in here? A chest, a chest, and a sack with another reverse card. What do you guys think it is? Take your bets, it's a reverse magician. That's like the last thing I was expecting. I was thinking more like a reverse stars, a reverse bow. Uh, no, definitely not. Mm, you definitely want to use Cardiac Arrest as much as you can as well because it gives you the speed necessary to even play the game. Unless you want to be like, I don't know, some weirdo quirky guy and sit at one speed as a Maggie archetype. <laughs> Which, you know, if that's your vibe, I won't judge. But at the same time, yeah, I will silently judge you. What the hell? But when pressing Q, you get to go fast. This is probably one of the worst rooms for Tarnished Maggie because you get nothing. You can't do this against the fires. Yeah, I did that earlier for that specific reason. A button room is near 
death for this character. You want to constantly be shoving enemy faces with your heart and overloading them with love. If you can't do that, then you might come across what happened to me earlier on the caves. You might drain and die. I also think when I was on that Loki Little Horn fight, I had a lot of negative built up, but when I got the HP up, did it all disappear? Maybe. Like, I had a, a lot of reserve. Like, I took out the biggest loan ever, but somehow I have, like, actually tax evaded IRL, so maybe life is good. There's someone healing? I'm gonna keep that guy alive. I think I can farm. This champion doesn't need to die, I don't think. Like, why would they? I'm just gonna keep, like, farming until I get as much HP as I can. <laughs> Is this gonna work? Maybe not. It, it might be too hard to do. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. It's over. GG. Not only is it Jover, I committed way too hard and now I have negative 32. <laughs> it's not the worst in the world considering I have, you know, plus 35 to work with. So I'm not gonna go into my health deficit, but we are playing with major numbers right now. High stakes. So of course, I'm trying to get as many hearts as possible. Oh, treasure room moment. Okay, obviously I might just have to accept the fact that it's gonna drain all the way because I gotta restock this. E. coli? No. Excuse you. Lil Brim's cool, but nah. Yo, listen. No, that's not the vibe today either. Not you. I'm looking for anything. Ah, oh, oh, man. So I would have taken the apple. Peeper's okay, though. Peeper, Peeper's, like, not bad. It's a little bit of a damage up as well on your left eye. Something people don't take into account, and for good reason, because it's minimal, and it's not exactly something to uh, uh, think about too much, but it exists. Red chest, HP, blood rights, what? Oh my god. Is it weird of me to say that I'm getting an idea? <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work out for me, but it seems thematic, so let's try it. What was in the shop? I fully expected you, to be honest. At least in a scenario where I have, you know, something like this. Negative 8 in comparison to plus 19. I'm having to do fractions in the Binding of Isaac. Probably the worst day of my life. <laughs> Never before did I fall off harder in school than like when we were learning about just basic math and I was like, God, I am a boy genius. And then they added quadrilaterals and fractions. God, I literally fell off. My brain could not handle. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one. Random ass secret room here with a random ass GB bug. Yeah, sure, I'll take. Uh, but yeah, negative two compared to plus 13. We have so many hearts left over. I could spam blood rights and you saw how much damage it was doing to that greed. It is significant. There is a sack room there, but I don't think I'm too interested. I want to more experiment with the Blood Rites play. This is interesting to me. Let's just go fight Mom. It has not felt like 30 minutes. Are you kidding me? I am having a grand time with this character. I'm actually really happy I did not spoil anything to do with this character. I'm in love with how this is playing out. And then when I have an excess amount of HP, uh, boom, you know, wave clear, a little bit of damage everywhere. That's sick. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. I love this. The moment I don't want enemies on the screen, I have infinite HP. In fact, I could probably just do this. <laughs> I don't even need to play the boss fight at that point. Uh, damage is important. Scales off cardiac, as I said. No real reason to get the fool's gold, but I just wanted that coin sound to play in my ear. Oh, let's go down. <laughs> yeah, I really could just spam blood rights at this point. I'm gonna continue to use cardiac arrest, but whenever there's a room that I just get bad vibes from, I will be spamming my space bar, and you cannot stop me. Oh, library. Maybe we lock in a book room. Probably don't want any book that can spawn. I see nothing overtaking the value that blood rights is applying to this run. Being able to do just that is way too good. I actually don't get bookworm, surprisingly. But Lyle <laughs> is one of those items where I'm like, well, actually... Not too bad. But I won't. No, thank you. We can use Belial whenever we want, but we never get to use Blood Rites as much as we want like this. This is like a rare occasion, man. Okay, try Act Nid. How you doing? Should be an easy boss. Even our burst damage from Blood Rites is strong, and it does not activate uh, the damage from the drain that Tarnished Maggie has, which is why it's so easy to use. Like, I could really just do this, uh, spawn a bunch of hearts, and then spam Blood Rites for the rest of the room. I think we're gonna do that from now on. Uh, oh, I got HP here. Nice. Arcade. Ooh, I got so much money. Pretty please, yes. Obviously, remote detonator kind of ass cheekums. Boy. Oh, hello. Eternal D6. Oh. You see, Blood Rites play is cool and all, but rerolls are cooler. Maybe if I stopped Vine Booming, I'd be able to take advantage of it. Dog. Seriously. I, I can't be this unlucky. I cannot. I'm, I'm maybe the unluckiest person, I'm afraid. Thank goodness. I still want to get this mom's bracelet as well. Just for an extra pedestal. That's funny that you decided to pay out immediately. We got a triple reroll here. I could 
go for like a haha, -ha, maybe get another pedestal here. That's not gonna happen though. Eden's Blessing. I'll definitely see what this is gonna give me after the run. But other than that, it's time to go. Jeez, dude, you gotta be mega skill ceiling to hit like the upper echelon of HP with this character. They are asking me to get 55 half a hearts to receive the next HP up. I don't think it's impossible. As we saw earlier, the boss fights are very consistent. You could just hit it and then farm bosses over and over, but that's pretty hard, genuinely, like to get to that high HP. That's no joke. I'm kind of clutching it out though, hold on. Let's see what we can do here. This is gonna be a big one. Get all this hardage. That was really satisfying. Do they make it? Okay, this is like a very small note. I don't know if this is true, but it feels like it's true. It feels like they make it so the hearts kind of generally go towards you. Nah, that's a damn lie. I was just lucky. They hit no spot way below. <laughs> I thought it was like some weird quality of life thing. It's better that way though, you know. The random aspect's more fun. Okay, this is done. We somehow got a deal. And somehow it's the quarter. We truly do not need that. What a terrible deal. Goodbye. Listen, don't ask what happened to my HP, okay? <laughs> I, I need you to spawn faster, Fallen. I, I'm on a little bit of a time crunch currently. Something terrible happened. I missed a lot. That's okay though. We just hit this fat split into double cardiac arrest play. There you go. Now we should be okay. As long as we uh, don't lose 30 half red hearts. How much is that? I guess 15 total hearts? Yeah, I would actually die. Or at least start losing my HP containers. Let's not have that happen. Gotta continue to farm more. Okay, minus 30. You know, we are actually slowly dying very, very quickly. Slowly dying very, very quickly is a double negative. All you need to know is that I'm scared for my life and I actually am dying. But that's how we're gonna amp up the climax, dude. If we don't do this, then what is there even to do? Cool stuff, Satan 2 done. I feel like I'll be able to farm more in Satan 3 because two legs can spawn and I might be able to pierce them or even the kamikaze flies. If I'm lucky, definitely not the case. I'm actually losing HP. <laughs> I came across a lot of like rooms that just had single enemies that did not have the most HP ever on troll So now I'm paying the price for it. Hopefully this dark room pays off. We're gonna need it. Pretty please I gotta go fast. No time to waste. Arcular Rift. Probably gonna take that and then do I have conjoined? Not really. Time to go. This is good. I like the little horns. The little horns are easy to farm, especially on a skinny room like this. Okay, we're, we're saved. Don't worry. <laughs> no issues whatsoever. At least for this room, you know, we'll be able to get a lot more HP going. It's so easy to hit the card Cardiac arrest here. <clears throat> not a single person knows what happened to my voice just then, not even I do. And it's hard to miss the hearts that spawn because they're all condensed in that skinny room. This is the room that we want. Here we go. We are saved. I just need to split uh, Tiny Toma a little bit. There you go. I've caught him Tiny Toma? I guess it's because I see more Tiny Toma than Terra Toma these days. Oh, another one? Ah, uh, you're too kind. Thank you. Somehow, we're now at negative 40. So I've gone and I've given up <laughs> on any hope when it comes to uh, trying to stay behind and re-roll things. I just want to find the lamb and, and get this over with because I'm actually dying way too fast. This might be over. Oh no, Scapular just saved my life. I didn't even get to re-roll the Eternal D6 moment. I, it might just be over for me. <laughs> Did this get insanely hard all of a sudden? Or what happened? I'm dead. I'm hella dead. It's so over. Daddy long legs moment. I'm alive. Uh, so we lost a ton of HP. That's for sure. I also have negative 20 on the dark room with not a lot to work with. Scapular might be my saving grace. It might be possible to live. I just need to make sure that I'm hitting every single thing possible. But that's kind of the thing when it comes to this character is that it's easy to get rid of your debt when the drain is not as fast, you know what I mean? Like, we can farm this war easily. It's gonna be scary because we're gonna be 1 HP every single time. But as long as I'm playing correctly, we'll be okay. And doing this, we could just wait out the drain and then start farming for more HP afterwards. So I, I do like that duality. So the higher HP that you have, the harder it is to maintain your debt on top of the fact that it's just way harder to like <laughs> not die. So having a good middle ground might also be really good as this character. We're already down to what like negative 20? Yeah we're doing fine man. Everything's gonna be a-okay. I wonder what her birthright does if her birthright does anything. I bet you it's like uh, Tainted Keeper where instead of coins you just attract the hearts. That would have been so good to find. Now I feel more comfortable to maybe go back and start rolling. We're still gonna lose HP though. I don't want to do it unless I'm fully cleared out my debt. I'm too nervous to lock that in otherwise. It's interesting too. Similar to Tainted Maggie 
laggy. I feel like items don't really matter as this character as much as other characters. Like you really can just play with base and you'll be fine. Of course damage ups matter but if you really think about it, what's my base damage? Less than 6? It's continuing to go down actually. It's around 5 but we're doing okay. We're doing fine. I don't think I have time to lolly egg around, reroll. I think we just gotta lock in the win. This is gonna be better for us overall. I could hermit card out for whatever reason. Not gonna do that. Let's just try and get a solid lamp fight in. As long as I hit all of my shots and pick up as many hearts as possible, Ocular Rift kind of destroying me just then, uh, we should be impossible to kill, I think. Okay, we're about to split. This is going to be good for us. We're going to get two procs of Cardiac Arrest now so we can farm easier. Do it again. I know the homing shots are kind of annoying, but I I'm kind of just face tanking everything. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever seen the lamb dash upwards. That never happens to me. In fact, I actually don't know if I knew that could happen. I always see lamb dashing halfway across the country from left to right. Never up down though. Hey, I never heard this part of the song. What the hell? This is kind of sick. I like this part of the song. Hey, this is nice. <laughs> Is this the loop? That's the loop. Wow, I actually heard the full lamb song. I never hear that. Wow, so that was Tarnished Maggie. That did not feel like 51 minutes. That was sick. Hey, I had a wonderful time, and I hope you guys did too. Tarnished Maggie is great, and Epiphany is great as well. GG.